Hello you guys, this is uh, Persia007 coming at you with another screen recording of uh, another YouTube video. This is the uh, sit down show episode 3. Today I'm going to be going through the articles that were published, uh, published on Shane Dawson and I'm going to see um, if there's any updates or not. Uh, so assuming this works properly. Dawson check on the news today okay seven hours ago it says Shane Dawson lost million subs over Tady Westbrook drama and racism okay another story James Charles says he's staying out of T.D. Westbrook and Shane Dawson I can't even talk straight uh, James Charles says he's staying out of T.D. Westbrook's and Shane Dawson drama, which is probably his best interest. And Jeffree Star secretly, secretly launches new product amid Shane Dawson drama. Okay. So you guys, this is uh, hitting um, major news networks now. This is just not an internet thing. Um... And um, the rumor that was flying around was Shane, is Shane Dawson being investigated by police. Rumors surfaced about YouTuber. I've already debunked that. Uh, Keemstar has already debunked that. Um, okay. Okay. Shane Dawson was born July 19th, 1988. Uh, total views is 4.45 billion. On his main channel, his secondary channel, 21.52 billion views and 61.36 million views on St. Shane Glossons. Subscriber count was 22.6 million subscribers on his main channel. Now I think it's down to 22.1. His second channel, Shane Dawson TV, is 8.36 million subscribers. And 3.74 million subscriber on Shane Glosson. And Shane has Shane Dawson has done Not Cool, Secret World of Jeffree Star, The Mind of Jake Paul, which he had controversy on that because he's being accused of doing um, trying to armchair psychology. And I could pull it up here. Um, let's go to Wikipedia here. Hang on. I don't want to click on the video because that would be copyright. Um, I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, reception. Okay, it says it was received mixed reviews. Uh, it says Dawson, the king of YouTube, has yet yet acknowledged the backlash after the dark side of Jake Paul was published which I think that was uh, episode 2 let me see no dark side okay that was episode 2 okay yeah uh, let's see hang on oh I see he was accusing him to, of being a sociopath or something uh, this is most thought Paul was not a crazy sociopath who screams at babies and plugs his merchandise in most of his videos. A lot of people plug the merchandise in their videos. There ain't nothing wrong with that. As long as you do it uh, at the beginning of the video before you say what you have to say or you do your vlog or whatever it is. That's what a lot of people do. Or they will do like a sponsor thing where they'll show you a brand of uh, what do you want to say them earbuds or show you like a razor or something like that um, okay it says negative reviews mostly criticized the second episode of the series the minor Jake Paul for its editing style styles and usage of the term sociopath um, it says and also criticized Dawson for using outdated term sociopath which is now considered anti-social personality disorder I think is what it is now 
Yeah, it says he should have used the term antisocial personality disorder, which I just stated. And they also criticized the second episode for using the term. Okay. And, uh, let's see, hang on. Another Bo BuzzFeed reporter con concurred with Chin Smith. I don't know. Also criticized the second episode stating that it was edited like a horror movie instead of a documentary series. <laughs> okay, this was done back, I think the show was done back in 2018, September 25th to October 18th of 2018. So the critical episode that he got called out for was done on September 27th of 2018 and I think he has since apologized for that I believe he did I don't know if he did or not um, okay let me go back out of that uh, let me see let's see if we could do the controversies controversies of Shane Dawson see if we can uh, okay Shane okay okay apparently I'm gonna have to go on, on the Wikipedia of his article uh, controversies okay Dawson has been criticized for racial comedy particularly his use of blackface in several past skits which he has apologized for and for the use of the word Oh, for the N-word, I'm not going to say it, um, in one of his video and his jokes about ghetto pranks at VidCon in 2012. Oh, I didn't know that. YouTuber Francesca Ramsey and other bloggers criticized him for his past actions. He later apologized for the jokes in a video stating that he, he viewed the controversy as a learning experience. Well, unfortunately... Back on the 26th of June, he had apologized for this crap again because they dug this up on him again because of this James Charles drama. Okay, in 2018, Dawson was the subject of a controversy regarding the comments he had made about pedophilia in a 2014 episode of his podcast, Shane and Friends. And that, that's the reason why he took all of them down. Um, in which he published an apology video like me in his comic comedic style at the time that of shock jocks the same comments were subject of a March 2019 controversy coupled with controversy regarding comments he had made on a 2015 episode of the same podcast about engaging in sexual activity with his cat um, okay, and Dawson's past controversies resurfaced this past month in June 2020. In response, he posted a 20-minute video called Taking Accountability on June 26th of the same month, in which he addressed the renewed criticism for his blackface, N-word, and other offensive comments he had made since launching his YouTube channel. Although he had apologized publicly before, which he has because I've seen the videos, Dawson claimed he had only realized how those apologies sucked. Stating, I don't know who that person is anymore, which is, I guess, one of his personalities. Um, and further remarking how he should have been punished for things and to have finally just owned up to all, all of it and be countable being accountable is worth losing everything to me. Dawson has also apologized to James Charles, you guys. He's also apologized to James Charles, whom he has described as egocentric and power hungry. Just a week before. I hate to tell you this, guys, but I think Shane Dawson is egocentric and power hungry. Not James Charles. <clears throat> but, again, I have forgiven... Um, Shane Dawson for being that way I've forgiven him uh, through his apology and I accepted his apology so I'm going to move on Dawson has also apologized to James Charles who 
he had described as egocentric and power hungry just a week before. Dawson concluded in his apology video by vowing to be a better his actions and said he understands that people do not want to accept his apology or no longer support him. He also claimed that he dealt with the pain from his childhood. This makes me very sad right here. Um, by making inappropriate jokes. That's what got him in trouble. And it's something that I did for shock value because I believe it. I thought it was funny. And I can, I can understand that. But in today's world, it's offensive. It is all gross, and I promise that that is not the real me. Hours after his apology was posted, musician Jaden Smith accused Dawson of sexualizing his sister Willow Smith, expressing how he was disgusted after an old video resurfaced of Dawson appearing to touch himself in a sexual manner while looking at a poster of an then 11-year-old Willow Smith. Jaden and Willow's mother, Jada Smith, also responded tweeting to Shane Dawson, I'm done with the excuses. That that looked very bad on him uh, after he made that apology video. Um, so, Shane Dawson knew that he done that, but unfortunately did not address it in his apology video, and that's why I'm still very disappointed at him and very upset with him because of that. I did accept his apology on the stuff that he, he's apologized for, and I've forgiven him for it, but he still needs to apologize for to Willow Smith, Jaden Smith, and Jada Smith. He needs to apologize to all three of them members of the Smith family for what he's done. That is his other part of taking accountability. Okay, and on June 29th, Target announced that it was in the process of removing all Dawson's two, all two published books, I Hate My Selfie and It Gets Worse From Its Shelves. On June 30th, YouTube indefinitely suspended monetization on all three Dawson's channels. That's not true. His old videos are still monetized. That's, um, and I'm not going to click on one of them because it's copyright uh, strike if I do. Um, so that's all of his controversies. I just read them off. Um, He's apologized for everything he's ever done, but he did not apologize about the Will Smith situation. That's one thing that's burning him in in the ass right now is he's not apologizing about the Jaden Smith poster situation. And I wish he would. And then we all can move on from this. I can move on from this and continue to watch his other videos, which I'm still doing, uh, but... Uh, I wish he would just, again, I, I hope he changes to be a better person and not who he, uh, okay, let's see if there's any news articles on that. Oh, here we go, Showbiz Cheat Sheet. Why is Shane Dawson such a controversial YouTuber? Let's see what that is. Shane Dawson rose to fame in the early 2000s as a popular YouTuber. We all know that he was considered to be one of the first stars on the platform, with subscribers flocking to his channel by the millions to see his funny sketches, prodigy videos, and more. However, Dawson's career has also been filled with a lot of criticism over the years. He has proven himself to be controversial internet stars such as Onision, which you all know that, and there are, uh, there, excuse me, there are, have been quite a few scandals to his name. We blow to learn more about Dawson, what Dawson has done. Okay, here we go. This kind of explains to you guys the better breakdown. See, Dawson has been criticized for putting blackface and using the N-word. I'm not gonna go through all of this. Um, okay, his first apology was my apology of blackface and offensive videos, which I think I've seen it. And then Dawson made comments that were considered pedophilic. Um, okay. I don't know why he's showing his Instagram photo there, but... Um, okay, I'm not going to read about that. Uh, and then the... So that was how many controversies that was. One, two... Uh, 